Let me record a quick one about Austin Hollerman real quick because he's on my mind. And, you know, young bro, the one thing I liked about him you know, when he first hit the scene, he was young and he was unfiltered and he didn't know quite how deep the waters are getting into this. And, and as he's climbed up the ladder and got more exposure, they're going to come for you. They're going to come for you. And sometimes that can be good and sometimes that can be bad. So they twisted your words. They got you canceled in Brazil. It's fine. But the thing is, is Brazil is just one part of a big globe. There's other spots to go. And guess what? They made you a martyr. They made you a martyr. Try to do that with Kevin. He made you a martyr. Now, a lot of guys that were so-so about you or iffy about you or just indifferent to you, guess what they're going to do? They're going to take your side. They're going to come to your rescue. You're going to be a cause celeb. Like, Passport Bros would not have blown up to the point where it is now if it wasn't for black women going negative. And black women putting TikToks out about Passport Bros because they're butthurt feelings. And so they grew Passport Bros from an unknown entity, an unknown Facebook group, to a worldwide status, to mainstream media focus. And still growing. You got kids that don't even know anything about passport or passporting or dating internationally, anything like that, man, begging their fathers to get passports.